Hey, Dana here. And welcome back to Searching For. And this is behind the scenes. I was doing the video prior to this. You saw me install a quick disconnect line to the Aqua Robo airline filter system. So what we're going to do today is I did explain in that other video that I had a, uh, with the Ocean Reef, I'm at... I'm able to add another regulator to this through this communications port. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. I had to buy a adapter through Ocean Reef that will adapt to your regulator and then screw into this port in this case it's this port here and it is wide enough it is wide enough that my flex adapter is not going to get not going to be in the way it's sitting out here far enough because it's got a separate screw system so that's what I'm going to do right now I'm going to go ahead and do that and if you're not comfortable doing stuff like this again get a professional to do it because this is your life so what you got to do is cut off the old zip tie and you're going to pull off your mouthpiece and that's and that if you want to replace your mouthpiece that's what you do you go ahead and cut off the zip tie and go ahead and put that on in this case that's exactly what i'm doing this is the adapter which is the same as the setup on the mouthpiece Stick that on there, and it push it on there. Make sure it's make sure it's seated in there, right? And then they provide you with <laughs> a ton of zip ties here. There is a there is a tool. That can be used, that is actually designed to do that. What you're gonna want to do right now, though, you know, because I don't have a thing, is try and pull it as hard as you can. Okay, and then go ahead and take it off. Okay, make sure you get it down far enough because that is sharp. Okay, so there we go, it's nice and secure on there. And now I can take it here on the ocean reef and put it where where you want it. You can adjust it, and then it has the screw or the screwing assembly here it has its own. Get that up tight enough. No, it's a burly, burly twist. Right. So. There is enough. No, oh, there isn't. All right, so we'll just go ahead, twist it. There's enough clearance here. There isn't enough clearance that I thought was going to be able. I was just going to be able to twist the regular on, regulator on there like it like itself. And then you're going to go ahead and just tighten that down. The regular radiator now is is on the side. Um, it's 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 light. It's not metal, so it's not going to really make too much of a issue. On this side, I have a surface air valve, which you saw me install. So now it's time you're seeing me install this. So you just tight. Make sure you got it tight. And in this scenario here. What did the, where did you go? Don't lose your, your covers here. Um, the, going to want to put a quick disconnect valve on here. So you can quick, quick disconnect that off of there. This is a shutoff valve. 
this is what you're going to want to put here or further back down your line or maybe yeah right it's probably where it's going to be is going to be right here you're going to attach this to a quick disconnect right now i've got it straight in there um and then what this does is it keeps the air off let's see you're gonna have to remember which way you're doing it all the way in pushed pushed all the way in Pushed all the way in, this valve is off. Now this is, again, this is a backup regulator going to a spare air tank. So if you have issues with, in this case, may have a problem with the robo, you're out there somehow or other, and you get a shark that comes by and gets caught up in your airline, or it cuts the airline, it, shoot, it bites it. So now you got that, and you're probably going to wind up having to, do a quick disconnect. Uh, that's just a scenario that I'm using. And now you're going to have to get, instead of having to take your tank mask off, you'll be lucky if something like that happens and the shark doesn't take your mask too. Um, the You're going to go ahead and push the, uh, well, this actually comes, slides off uh, once it's hooked up. So you saw that. You got these little airlines here, little holes. So this locks down and on is going to come back off. And now you'll have your air coming off of your tank. Push it back, it shuts it off. So now you got just air coming from the robo. Or you could have two air tanks on your back, one for primary and then one as a backup so you're not running off the same line so those are those are those are two scenarios that you have and like i said that's that's the way that i think i'd rather have that loose that up a little bit Let's twist that up because that's gonna your air your line is gonna come over your top of your shoulder right so we'll take it up and we can lock it like that mm, all right so i kind of like it like that all right so there you go that's how you add your regulator onto your ocean reef setup and you quick disconnect or quick air on off and again you're going to want to put a a quick disconnect on on this as well and of course if you don't want to leave it on, if you don't want it on there all the time just go ahead and unscrew it off okay and just put your that back in there just like so all right thanks for watching don't forget to comment subscribe definitely share catch me on the next searching for and that was how to install a backup regulator on your ocean reef full face mask.